morning, everyone. Welcome to our Friday Feel Good Workout. I am thrilled to um, be covering today our Feel Good prescription. I have lots of amazing participants joining me on YouTube. If I could remind you, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps so that I can continue to make amazing content for you. It will also notify you of any new content that I put up on YouTube, all for free. And you have lots of playlists covering diabetes friendly exercises, ones to help us reduce our risks of things like Alzheimer's and dementia. We have exercise snacks as well. And I also have lots of participants on Zoom today. So welcome to absolutely everyone, wherever you are, just adjusting my camera there. I'm back in my room here today in my studio. Um, unfortunately, my mother-in-law won't be joining me today, but we know we can do these exercises seated. So I will demonstrate them seated and standing. We always start with a breath snack. So take a seat. This is your moment of calm in our busy lives. We're just gonna take some lovely deep breaths and just try and kick in the parasympathetic nervous system. You can hear on my voice, I'm slightly breathing out of breath, getting set up. You guys are here as well. This is our moment to invest in our mind and just calm the body. Just tune into your breath. How is it feeling? Maybe try and lengthen the inhales. Think of positivity as you breathe in negativity releasing all away as you breathe out and what we're going to do today is the alternate nostril breath which is really really there's lots of science behind it which i'll be covering in my upcoming book that comes out in may 2024 but what we're going to do and i'll come a little bit closer is ideally you're going to put your thumb against one nostril and then you're gonna close it. You're gonna breathe in for the count of three. You can hold for up to three or as long as possible. And then you're gonna exhale through that open nostril. Then we're gonna use the other finger, maybe two fingers, normally your ring finger, to close the other nostril so that you're breathing in the other side. You can hold by clasping both against your nose and you release out the other side. So it's alternating the breath. I think you'll get it, but let's give it a go. So we're gonna start breathing in through your right nostril, holding at the top, and then breathe out through your left nostril. So you're using your fingers just to close each side. Breathe in through your left nostril, Holding, closing at the top. Breathe out through your night, right nostril. So we're alternating the breath. Breathe in through your right nostril. Hold, close at the top. Breathe out through your left nostril. Breathe in through your left nostril. Close both. Hold, breathe out through your right nostril. Let's go again. Breathe in through your right nostril. Hold, close both. Breathe out through your left nostril. Last one. Breathe in through your left nostril. Close, hold and release out through your right nostril. Take a moment just to return to your normal breathing. That was a very, very quick introduction. Just a breath snack to alternate nostril breathing. Do give me a little like or drop a comment if you enjoyed that. I can see lots of you on Zoom. So did you guys, um, have you done that before? Let me know in the comments. And did you enjoy it? Ideally, you could do that breath for around three to five minutes, but even a minute is effective. So I hope you feel a little bit different. Alternate nostril breathing. We're now gonna start our mobility snack with our neck. So I'm gonna show you standing. All I'm doing is imagining a clock in, and I'm 
and literally rotating my chin around that clock. So moving around in one direction four or five times. Shoulders are relaxed, back is nice and straight, stomach is in, in tight. And then I'm gonna change directions. You can do this seated or standing. Anytime you're sitting too long, think about some movements from today that you can incorporate into your day. Little exercise snacks. We're then gonna place our hands on our shoulders. And I love this one because it's a lovely heart opener as well. We're drawing big circles now with our elbows. I want lovely big smiles from everyone. Good, Zoom or YouTube, wherever you are in the world. And this is saved on my YouTube channel for you to replay, changing directions. We're trying to get that lovely range of movement, opening out the chest, which often gets really tight as we're sitting for long periods, hunching round with our backs. So alleviating any of that tension, joint pain, really common in menopausal women as well. So getting that lubrication with the synovial fluid around the joints. And we're gonna do arm circles. So we're trying to go one by So we're gonna do left and then right, right and then left, backwards, see how it feels. So we're trying to keep our bodies nice and straight to the front and just rotate round. Is one side a little bit easier than the other? We don't often give our bodies this lovely movement, but it's so important to keep everything nice and supple, mobile, especially as we age. And then we're going to come forward. So this way, just swiping round, beautiful stomach muscles are in this whole workout. So that is imagining your belly button is coming towards your spine. One more on each side. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer, a little bit looser. Brilliant. And then we're going to do some spinal twists. So we're going to put our hands behind our ears, open out those elbows. So I'm not like this. I'm nice and open, seated or standing. You're going to keep your waist nice and still and fixed and your hips to the front. We're just twisting round, breathing out, breathing in. Tighten your stomach, your core, these abdominals, your transverse abdominal. We can really engage in this one as well, but you'll probably feel this around your thoracic spine or any areas that you're tight. Try and keep your elbows nice and open. Small twist. Can you all feel this one? Give me a little nod or drop a little thumbs up after this exercise. This is such an effective one just to break up those periods of sitting on the sofa or behind your desks. We're all sitting for long periods in our modern lives. So these are really important mobility drills. And then staying seated to so have a seat if you're standing. We're going to do some little ankle or wrist circles. So we're going to start with our right leg. I've lifted my foot off the ground. I'm engaging my lovely quadriceps now. So my leg muscles. And I'm just going to start circling out the wrists as well. So a bit of coordination involved to get our brains nice and fit. Like I said, to reduce risks of things like Alzheimer's and dementia, to really get that uh, brain working this morning or whenever you do this workout. Let's change direction. If it's difficult, you can always rest your leg down, but ideally keeping it elevated, you should feel those muscles now working because we really have to keep them tight and lift that leg and relax. Did you feel that? So if you can keep it up while we're doing both directions, it's a little bit more of a challenge. Are the legs, so again, lengthening the arms, circling out, can you get a nice little synchronization here, a bit of movement, beautiful work. You can close the fists or just keep the hands loose and really get that lovely blood flow circulation, changing directions if you haven't. I can feel my leg muscles kicking in and relax. So going into our banded snack. So this is where we start adding a bit of resistance. Don't worry if you don't have a resistance band, you can just grab a pair of old tights. In the UK, it's getting cold, so I'm sure people have got their tights ready. 
or you could use a belt if but something with a bit of stretch like these bands are brilliant because we want to start working our muscles and you know how important muscles are for longevity if you've been following my workouts so we're going to start with Lavina's favorite famous shoulder floss we're going to have our stomach muscles in backs nice and straight you're trying to lift your arms up and over you can do this seated I'll show you both ideally the goal is to have lovely straight arms and this full range of movement but it is very difficult I see people struggling so just bend the arms go to whatever you can you don't even have to come all the way back and round if you're good at this which a lot of my regulars are then I want you to try and really push yourself and over time I hope if you do this daily this is going to be put one of the snacks in my book I shouldn't give too much away but it's a daily exercise just like flossing your teeth I would love you to hold a little bit closer to challenge yourself a little bit tighter to really get those muscles engaged and we're going for about three more you may start feeling a little burning sensation which is the lactic acid around those muscles just firing up. It's perfectly normal. It feels good in a way to know that we're working and relax. Good work. Did you feel that everyone? Yes. So it's this whole range of motion in this shoulder joint, which we're lacking. We're then going to do a little one for our back here. So we often hear about these areas especially women, but really important to strengthen our back, not for just how we look, but for our back strength to, to alleviate any back and neck pain. So arms are going to be straight, seated or standing, stomach muscles in, and I'm going to bring one elbow down the side and squeeze it down with the other arm straight and back up. I want you to do the same side for 10. I'm going to show you from the side that my elbow, it's like I'm between two panes of glass. It's coming down the side and I'm targeting my latimus dorsi muscles here. Can you feel that? I want you to really go slow. You can have the band nice and loose or you can hold it nice and tighter. That's a challenge. This arm is also working to keep it nice and straight. You're using your grip strength as well, which is a really important measurement of strength, especially as we age. Can you feel that? Breathe out as you pull down, breathe in as we come up. So we use our breath with the exercises, the harder part you breathe out, breathe in. Arms might be getting a bit tired. Give it a little shake off. Did you all feel that? You've got a chance to drop me a little heart or a thumbs up or give me something, a little sign here. So here, did you feel it there? Good. So give it a little shake, a nice, have a little shimmy shake there. And we're going to do the other side. Again, seated or standing. If you're standing, keep everything nice and still. This arm that's straight is literally by my ear, yeah? It's nice and straight and I'm also engaging the muscles there by holding that band nice and tight. And I was talking about grip strength because there's a lot of science around the importance of our grip, especially as we age and being able to do things ourselves. So squeeze round again. I'll show you from the back. I'm targeting these muscles on the side of our backs, our lats. Brilliant. Breathe out. That elbow is pulling down and up. If you don't have a band, you could use even just some light tins on this one, just to mimic this exercise. Brilliant. Tights will work. Keep it nice and tight if you can. And relax. Well done. You can really feel that. So last one. This time we're going to target slightly higher in the back and our shoulders and our biceps and our arm muscles we're going to do a bow and arrow so we're going to have our arms in front this little band snack so one arm stays straight this time this elbow is going to come round the side
side and pull back. But this arm is lovely and straight. So can you see I'm like Robin Hood, shooting an arrow and then I come back. When I do this, my shoulder blades are squeezing together. I want lovely straight backs, beautiful posture, big smiles. Let's do five on each side. And I'm making you do each side so it really builds up. So do five on the left, five on the right. Yep, can you squeeze? If it's easy, tighten your tights or your band and squeeze round, breathe out, breathe in. Well, this is such a great exercise. Trust me, physios, I know, give out this exercise to people with neck, shoulder pain all the time. And if there's an exercise you can't do, obviously just march on the spot, do some more flossing, whatever works for you. One thing to note is try and keep your wrist lovely and straight to your forearm whenever you're holding. We're gonna go for three. I'm still going two, brilliant, and one, amazing. Give it all a shake, you should feel that. Three exercises, today's homework. Which of those three could you commit to when you're watching TV? Think the shoulder floss, the lap pull down, or the bow and arrow. So we're gonna march on the spot, we're just gonna shake everything out, and we're gonna go into our little cardio snack now. So we're gonna start with a bit of swimming. I've got some tin cans, I've also got some light dumbbells. So whatever you want to use is totally up to you. We're gonna do it seated or standing, and first we're just gonna start swimming those arms. Now, your arms have already worked, so just see how you feel. I was in Turkey last week with my family and I was swimming in the ocean. You may have seen it on my uh, social media channels, doing a little swim snack. I literally swam out so far, I didn't realize how far I'd swum. And I was the only person there, it was so beautiful in the sunset. So right now, close your eyes, visualize you are swimming in that ocean. Yep, so we can always manifest and pretend we're there. Imagine that sun on your back, the sun setting, the sky's looking really beautiful. We'll go for two and one. Are you feeling these arms like I am? Because I'm feeling them. We're gonna now maybe have a seat. So we're gonna add in some little heel raises with that, just to start working our um, calf muscles, which are really great at absorbing excess blood sugar after meals. So if you're sitting at the sofa, all I do, and I encourage when I'm sitting too long in meetings, at my desk or in the restaurant, it's a very easy little snack, little trick, is to lift your heels up and down. And you should start feeling these lower calf muscles. So this time we're just gonna change direction. We're doing breaststroke a little bit wrong, but we're gonna go the other way with our arms, just working those muscles. You could hold onto tins, try and lift those heels at the same time. Big smiles. Can you feel those calves working as well? Brilliant work. Three and two and one. We're going to start raising the heart rate with some star jumps. I will show you them seated. This is a low impact workout suitable to all ages. So there's no jumping in these star jumps. You could do them single or double leg. I'm missing my mother-in-law, but my mum is on Zoom at the moment. Kumar Shah, well done. She's been on holiday with me, so she knows how we're talking about swimming. But you are all stars. I can see so many of you joining me today. It, it just makes my day that you are here as part of my community. But most importantly, you're investing in your physical health, your mental health. We're reducing risks of so many chronic illnesses, the things you can't see. Can you go a little bit faster for five? Give yourselves a clap, four. Three, two, one, whoo! Now, tell me how you feel right now. 
I am feeling my arms, yep. So just in the space of, gosh, we've probably only done about 10 minutes of actual exercise, you should be feeling better. Are you, how's your mood? That's more important than the arms. Are you feeling a little bit happier? I can see lots of smiles on Zoom and thumbs up and YouTube. I hope you're all feeling the same as well. We're going to do a bit of boxing. So I'm looking for my tins. These are the best weights for boxing because they're nice and light. You could use very, very one, light, one kg dumbbells or you could just do body weight. And I want us to do a little bit of punching out more for getting rid of all your stresses, your tension, your anxiety, seated or standing, maybe adding in your feet so that we get a nice full body, you could go fast or slow. We're gonna go for about 10 seconds from now. Nine, punch it out, eight, seven, good, release that tension, six, punch five, four, Three, two, and one. There you go. Well, when we say, I don't want to exercise, we could literally do three minutes. Just those three exercises in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And you would be doing so well to get your heart strong, your lungs strong. March it out, or I'm purposely letting you rest while I tell you we're going into our strength snack section. So we're gonna start with our simple leg extensions just to fire up those muscles. You may have felt them when we were doing our ankle and wrist circles. This time we're gonna lift the leg up, foot off the ground and place it back. You can challenge yourself by really holding here. And this again, just like the heel raises you could do absolutely anywhere, under a table. You could do it literally so people don't realize, but hold on and really feel. Can you feel these muscles? Because these are important. They support your knees. So when we're talking about um, knee pain, it's really all about strengthening these muscles a lot of the time. That is level one. Level two is to go into a sit and stand. We always use a chair for these workouts because I've had people, even from care homes, I don't want anyone to fall. This is open to absolutely everyone. Knees are going out in line with your toes. If you know you're going up and down, please start. Otherwise, you hold onto the chair, lift a few inches, engage the muscles, come down safely. You could hold onto the higher part of your chair if you've got hand rests or your lift. Can you see your toes? Are your knees going out in line with your toes? If you're ready and if you're able to stand, some of you already are, you are gonna go down and up, but nice and slow, and I want you to squeeze. Think of that mind to muscle connection. Squeeze the glutes at the top. I'm showing you from the side because I want you to keep your knees back and I want your body to stay upright. I don't want it to come down. I want your legs to do the work because this is the king of lower body strength exercises. This is gonna work every single muscle from your core, your lower body, and it's strengthening. And the more muscle mass we have, there are huge benefits reducing our risks of osteoporosis in the long run to controlling our blood sugar, mopping up that excess blood sugar, to even weight management, because muscle is the most metabolically active tissue in our body. So the more muscle we have, the more you're gonna burn calories even at rest. Rest there for a minute. So if you're used to my workouts, first, if you're beginners, just carry on with body weight. We're gonna do three sets. Some of you are tempted, I know, to add in weights. So we have a couple of options. We're gonna have a little rest so you can march out. We're gonna maybe think about what weights you're using. And when I want you to come back to this workout on YouTube, I want you to think about increasing that gradually over time, not every single time, but maybe have a selection like I have. Maybe add a rucksack in. 
maybe put in some of those naughty things like, like uh, Coke bottles or anything in your house that we hopefully won't be consuming too much of and add extra weight. I've got a nice big dumbbell, but I've also got laundry bottles, tin cans, and even body weight is fine. We're not doing a shoulder press. We're just focusing on our lower body. We're going to try and do leg extensions or squats, sit and stands, whatever version you can do for 10. Good. Breathe out. Slow that negative touch down. Squeeze up. Nine. Beautiful. Really focus on squeezing, contracting the muscles. Seven. Breathe in as you go down. Breathe out. Squeeze up. Good. I've got five. You do what you can. If you're tired, you rest. This is your workout. Anything is better than nothing, even if you do two or three good ones. It's better than not doing anything at all, isn't it? I've lost track of numbers. I think I've got three. Squeeze out. Good. Slow it down. And two, you should be feeling this. Good. And one. Oh, I'm out of breath. How are you guys feeling? That's obviously because I'm using a heavier weight. So I really encourage some of you that have been using my workouts for the last few years to think about the weight that you're using. It might not be today's session. It might be next time that you play on YouTube that you just increase it because my, I'm out of breath. So it's actually, I feel more, more important than cardio is strength training. And that's because we're building and maintaining our lean muscle mass, which gets, we start losing from the age of 30. Shall we do one more set? I'm letting you rest here. It's good to bring your heart rate down. And if you're finding it hard, or if you want an, another option with the leg extension, you could even hold a weight out and down. And of course, you can just march on the spot or even rest. So when we're ready, we're going to do another set. And we could do maybe a set of squats every day at least. I would love these to be part of your daily exercise snacks. When you're sitting, all you need to do is grab the water bottle near you or just body weight squats. Every time you sit down, think about coming up and down, sit and stand. That's why I call them. It's like a cue. Don't just sit, but stand, squeeze. Are you checking your knees? Make sure they're not coming in or towards each other. Check your upper body muscles tight. Is your back straight? Breathe out. You can touch down, squeeze up. The weight is in my heels so that I can actually keep my knees back and I'm not putting too much load on them. They're not going beyond my toes. Beautiful. I'm going to do two more. Squeeze up. Have a checkpoint here. How do you feel? Hopefully good. So we're going to go from lower body, the king of lower body exercises, to the king or queen of upper body, which are your press ups. So a couple of options here. If you've got a wall, you know, I love wall press ups but for anyone that can't stand or maybe finds them difficult, even seated because we want to work all these upper body muscles. Hands are pressing against my legs here. I'm going to put some pressure, bend the elbow straight back, and then I'm pressing. As I press here, I'm thinking about all these muscles. Now, seated is a great option, but most of you, if you're able to stand, I would love you to go to the wall. So carefully go to your walls and make sure you've got nothing behind you, health and safety. We're going to have a straight line, if you're standing, from the top of your head down to the back of your heels. And my stomach muscles are in. And you can start off nice and close. I'm going towards the wall and pushing back. So I'm inhaling and I'm exhaling. The elbows bend 
at around 90 degrees. To make it harder, I can move further back, but I'm not hinging, I'm not breaking at the back. The back and the legs, a lovely straight line. Can you do about 10? Do what you can. I'll show you this way as well. So my hands are at shoulder height. You can have them nice and wide. Try and bring your chest towards the wall. Breathe out as you push away. I'm going to do two more. I can really feel these. And last one. Roll out your wrists. So we're building strength everywhere from all your upper body. Hopefully your core muscles are tight as you do them, but your wrists can feel it. That's why the seated option is there as well. Roll them out. We're going to do it again. The next progression, just in case you come back to this week's workout again and play it back on YouTube, which I would love, is to actually do it against a lower surface. So when you're cooking, if you're in the kitchen, or if you're at your table, or beds are quite low, it's quite challenging, you can again try and do this, but have a nice wide space. So sometimes a chair is too narrow and we don't want anything to move but maybe a sofa, so something a bit lower, because we don't show press-ups on the floor in this workout, just because I want it to be accessible to everyone and for all ages and abilities. So we're going to do a second set. If you can, you can stand up now, and let's try and do a second set. So this is a nice little challenge today. We're really focusing on our big compound movements and strength training, which are multi-joint multi-muscle inhale exhale so i can make it nice and hard for myself you can even if you're down on your chair so i can get my mum up to do a second set mom are you gonna get up on zoom there she goes well done everyone i can see lots of you doing this andrew is doing brilliant i've got bimal marion Pravin Shah, Neem Auntie, Urmila Ben, Taruna Auntie. I've got loads and loads of you. Squeeze back, inhale and exhale. Good. Well done, everyone. Wherever you are in the world, we are doing press ups together. How exciting! It makes me excited thinking we're doing this together and release. Have you done about 10? So those two exercises are something you can build into your day. Little snacks if you can. We're then going to go for a nice seated exercise. I could use these lovely laundry bottles. We're going to work our biceps and our shoulders. So I'm going to show you both movements first. Break it down in case you don't want to do both together. My elbows are in, my shoulders are back. Done that lovely desk reset which is on my TED talk do check it out just google it stomach muscles are in we're working our biceps whatever weight you use tin cans or plastic bottles I want your wrists to stay lovely and straight so don't bend them not like this keep them nice and straight and we're releasing we're working these muscles here so focus the mind to muscle connection is real Bicep curl. This is our first exercise. I think we will do three more just to really feel this. Test out the weight that you're using because you want to feel the last three repetitions. Then you know you're on the right weight. That's nice and challenging. Perfect form on those last three, but just think about the weight you're using. Tin cans are great but you could be doing a little bit heavier if you've done these workouts before. I can see some of you are using water bottles, so well done. Relax there. We're going to combine that with the shoulder press. So what we're going to do is we're going to curl up. Palms are towards me. Then I'm going to twist at my palm and I'm going to press that weight up. And then I'm going to bring those palms back towards me and release the bicep curl. So if that's too difficult, you could just do the curl or you could do the shoulder press, seated or standing. So let's try and do five of those together. So we're gonna curl in, 
Then we're twisting away, pressing up, holding your trophies, palms back towards you and release out the biceps nice and slow. We're not rushing it, we're feeling it. Time under tension for the muscles. They're getting lovely and strong. And release. Stomach muscles are in. My back is nice and straight. Beautiful work, everyone. Building strength. Down and release. Good work. Let's do two more. So these are like a double move. Breathe out as you push up. Breathe in and slowly release. We're slowing that release because that's just as important as the lifting part of the exercise. Last one and relax. Did you feel that? Yes or no? Be honest with yourself. Maybe you can move from tin cans to even some milk cartons or I've obviously found some laundry bottles with Little handles here, which are quite useful. We don't have to have fancy equipment. We're then going to try another exercise. So we're just going to do one set of all of these, just because those muscles are already worked from our band snack and our upper body, our uh, press ups. So we're going to do tricep extensions. You can hold a weight and I want you to clasp it nice and tight. And we're going to try and I'm going to show you without any weight first. It's quite hard to actually get your elbows here. Now, everyone might be here. So I'm going to show you from the side. Can you bring your elbows back here? And can you bring them close together? So it's quite difficult because we're all hunching over every day when we're sitting. Or our posture is really tight at the moment most of us, that it's quite hard for people to get here. You're then holding on to your weight or your hands even in a little fist and I'm going to lengthen up, squeeze up and I'm tightening these, the bingo wings, the triceps as you want to call them. So we go down and up but I keep my elbows back and close to my ears. Now if I did this without any weight I can feel it, but obviously you can hold on to a nice light weight. Give it all a shake. Let's get our weights ready. We're going to try and go for maybe eight to ten repetitions. If you're holding a dumbbell, you can almost clasp it at the top. So this is how I've got my weight. If you're holding a water bottle or whatever plastic um, safe equipment you can find, seated or standing, back is nice and straight. Let's Squeeze up, breathe out, breathe in. Try and keep those elbows as close to and as far back. If the weight gets heavy, you can always drop it. Change weights or just have no weight at all until you perfect the movement. Breathe out, breathe in. Can you feel it on those triceps, those underarm bingo wings as we know Love shaking around when we're clapping, good. Elbows in towards your ears if you can. Breathe out, breathe in if it's too difficult. Just march out on the spot. Have a little break, two and one. Woo, quite challenging, right? Now the, the more advanced method, but it's quite difficult because we may not be able to do this and we could just do that same exercise again to get all the muscles working is without moving your furniture I'm just showing you around to the side is tricep dips off your sofa or your chair or even your bed now again when I do this my elbows stay back and together they're not flaring out they're staying here and you can try this but it's advanced so please Carry on with the first exercise if you want an easy option. I just shuffle myself off the chair, make sure it's nice and sturdy, a sofa's perfect, and I bend. I'm trying to go to 90 degrees, and I've got all my body weight to push up. So I'm going down, elbows are staying back and in, squeeze up, bent leg. These are very difficult. This is your body weight. 
move. But I know some of you are quite advanced. I'm just giving you an option. Maybe try one. It's difficult, yeah? But if it's, you can take your body weight, that is a great measure of strength. Might not be for you today. You might want to just carry on with the extensions. So whatever you're doing, let's just go for a few repetitions, either the tricep extension or the dips down. I'm aiming for 90 degrees. Breathe out as you push up. Good. If you're extending that weight down and up, or your body weight, it is much harder. Good, and legs straight would be the progression on these dips, but I'm not showing you those for this particular low impact work. Roll out the wrist. I would love to know if you tried the tricep dips. So drop a comment on my YouTube workout, it's there safe for you, and if you enjoyed it. We are gonna do a little bit of balance work now. So this is very important as we age, but we start losing our balance in our 30s and 40s, especially something I've been researching through menopause as well. So for all ages, and also if you have anyone in your family that's doing a lot of sport or running, we often have one side stronger than the other. So to correct muscular imbalances, if you can't balance, I want you to try and aim to hold for 10 seconds, which is a sign of longevity. There's science behind this as well. But you could hold out your leg extension for 10 seconds and I guarantee you'll feel the muscles working. If you're able to stand, you're gonna have your wall as support or a very sturdy piece of furniture. If you need it or you don't, let's try and go for 10 seconds. If you hold for three, that's fine. Reset, rejoin. 10, nine, eight, stomach muscles in, seven, six, five, focus on a point, four, three, two, and one, release it off. Did you feel it? Did you manage 10 seconds? Don't worry if you didn't today. Good, well done. You could start building up. I brush my teeth on one leg automatically now, and that's adding in a challenge. Closing your eyes makes it so much more difficult. I would only want you to do that for maybe three seconds with that support. Shall we try that on the same leg? Leg extensions, if you can't stand, just close your eyes. Three, two, one. Like you can see already that you lose that um, proprioception, it's called, the awareness of your body and the movement around you when you close your eyes. So it's very challenging. We're then going to go onto the other leg. So whichever leg is straight is taking all your body weight. It's going to get lovely and strong. Have a bit of support there. We can leg extension or hold. 10, 9, 8, 7. Hold on if you need to. 6, 5. Cut stomach in. 3, 2, and 1. Release it off. Now we've talked about pelvic floor. In fact, there's a whole workout under my Feel Good Workout playlist on YouTube around the importance of pelvic floor exercises every day. When you start doing them daily, ideally two to three times a day, so do look at that workout, you could start using that tightness in our exercises that we're doing here. So we're gonna try that again but this time I want you to try and squeeze your pelvic floor so you're imagining that blueberry between your back passage and you're stopping the passing of urine. We're gonna hold, you don't have to hold for 10 seconds, but could you do it while you're balancing? That means even if you've got support or even if you're seated doing the leg extension, we're gonna do a 10 second hold. Pelvic floor as well, nine, eight, Seven, squeeze it. Six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. And release, release all your muscles down there as well. This is important for men, especially as the feedback I got from my 
session when I did the pelvic floor specific one was that a lot of men that get told about prostate issues later in life are told to do pelvic floor as well. And it's controlling our uh, muscles around this area which become very lax as we age. So let's try again. Pelvic floor, other leg if you're balancing. 10, 9, hold on if you need to. 8, 7, seated leg extension is 5. Four, squeeze it. Three, two, one, and relax. A little challenge there. It might have been harder to do pelvic floor as well as balance, but it's just something you can start adding to your exercises as well. So we're going to finish with a last little bit, one little move of high knees. You could add some light weights if you wanted. You're going to lift those knees up towards your chest. If you're seated, you can also do these lifting up, lifting up. Good. Or we could add in our rope pulls. You could go fast because we're not jumping here. We're keeping it low impact. But you could go faster. For Let's go for 15 seconds, everyone. Really, really go for it. Beautiful work. Can you lift those legs up? Oh, absolutely fabulous. Keep it going, guys. Lovely work. Wherever you are watching this workout, join in. High knees, core tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're done. We're going to stretch, so don't run away. That is probably the most important part because we don't want anyone having too much muscle soreness and remembering Lavina for too many days. Ideally, you will do these workouts two to three times a week to help hit the government guidelines of physical activity, but also to get a lovely full body workout. If you can't commit to 45 to 50 minutes, do exercise snacking, please. Every minute counts. We're going to start with some nice side reaches. We've worked a lot of muscles today. We need to loosen them out. This is also your moment to bring your heart rate down. You're reaching over if you're standing. You can really reach over and get a lovely side stretch. Give me a wave, everyone, a little virtual wave. That's put a nice smile on everyone's faces. And release. I can feel the energy, even virtually. You're all amazing. Lean over the other side. Lovely stretch. Sinking that hip down if you're seated. Give me another little wave here. Three, two, and one. Brilliant. We're going to do our chest. We've done a lot of work today. So we're going to open out our chest. I'm not just bringing the hands back, but I'm trying to bring those elbows back and together. So if I look to you from the front, I could almost maybe not see your elbows. That would be the goal. And really lengthen that back. Neck is neutral, so it's just looking ahead. If you're seated, you can add in this lovely chest stretch every time you're feeling tight. Breathe into it. Inhale, exhale, long breaths to bring that heart rate down to normal. And then we're going to do the opposite. We're going to try and wrap our hands around a huge tree but I'm rounding the spine and my fingertips are going to interlock together. So they're just growing together, rounding out chin to chest. I'm tucking my tailbone under. I can do this seated, creating like a C shape in your back. Hold there, breathe in, breathe out, then lengthen out, unravel, bring the arms up, link together still. We've got a nice full body stretch. So if you're seated, it's your whole back nice and straight. If you're standing, can you grow a little bit taller? And release the arms down. Doesn't it feel lovely stretching? I think it's like self-care. We're going to do our triceps, those lovely ones that we did with those dips. This is a great stretch to practice every day as we get tight. So I've got one hand on the opposite elbow, 
The other hand goes down my back and I'm trying to bring it back towards my ears. Seated or standing, hold, relax your shoulders. So no tension, breathe, this is quite tough. Can you feel that lovely stretch? Obviously the more pressure you put to bring that elbow back, but just do what you can today. Over time, I promise you, if you're here, you might get to here and slowly practice every day. Your flexibility will increase. I never used to be flexible at all. I remember in my 30s going to classes and wondering how people could touch their toes. Um, but as you practice, it's so important to keep our joints, our muscles nice and flexible. It will help with your exercises and all your day-to-day -day activities. Other side, I'm holding on purpose. Just a little bit longer and release. I can see my mum on Zoom. She's circling out on her neck. So let's give our neck a little bit of love. And then let's bring it down. So your chin comes down towards your chest. Just hold there. Take a breath in. And then on the breath out, let's lift that chin up so we're lengthening the front of our neck good i'm going with what i can see on zoom which is my mom giving me a signal the stretching which is really important one hand on the opposite that shoulder down you can do this seated this is a great one to do seated because you can just hold on to the side of your chair but you're gonna just ease that ear towards the shoulder on this bent arm. So can you feel that lovely stretch? Relax this shoulder down. You can even turn your head. So you might feel the stretch a little bit deeper. Yay, brilliant, I can really feel that. Breathe into any tension, release it off. It can be painful, I know. So I don't want you to go through pain but if you're feeling a little bit tight, try and use your breath to just ease out that tension because I can feel it too, but it's um, bearable. Obviously, I don't want you to go through anything that is painful when you're stretching. Just do what you can. That little adjustment of this, where you're looking can really lengthen that stretch. Release it up. We're gonna do a nice, lengthening of both legs first just straight out taking a seat you're going to reach for maybe your toes maybe your shins and relax the upper body hold it breathe you should feel a lovely long stretch if your legs are straight from the top of your hamstrings all the way down the backs of your legs even to your ankles and your back so here I've got my arms lengthening, my back relax, my head and neck easing down, chest towards the thighs. One more deep breath here, and then slowly, slowly unravel the spine. We're going to finish with Lavina's favorite. It's a big feel good hug. You're going to give yourself because you all deserve it. You're all amazing, like a standing or seated cat cow. Breathing in lots of positivity, arch your back, lift your chin, stick your tailbone out, and then exhale, big hug from me to all of you, round the back, hug yourself, it's such a lovely feeling, it releases oxytocin, makes you feel good, and you all deserve it. And then final feel good finish, we're gonna take a lovely positive inhale, seated or standing, Lifting the arms up, breathing in. Exhale any tension as you bring those arms down. Negativity, stress all away. One final big feel good finish. Breathe in this time, capture that positivity at the top. Bring those hands down to your amazing heart center. I want you to take a moment, maybe close your eyes. Thank your body for whatever it's managed to do today. You are amazing. I have a privilege just being able to teach you and be with you all today, even virtually. Well done, everyone. And please um, hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. 
please drop a comment on there. It really, really helps. It knows that it means so much to me. Um, and please share with your family and friends because there's three and a half years of workouts, four years on my YouTube channel, and I really want to grow that as well as I can. If you'd like to join on Zoom, sign up to the newsletter on my website. That will be going out next month as well with Zoom details. And obviously, keep moving, keep feeling good. Know that every minute counts. I'm going to talk to my amazing Zoom participants after I have logged off YouTube. So thank you to everyone that has joined us. Super well done.